The Twilight Zone, 1985, Season 2, Episode 5. The Storyteller, Night Song. Theme from the Twilight Zone, Heartbeat. Wish you were staying in town a little longer, Aunt Dorothy. Jeffrey's dying to meet you. I'm dying for him to meet you. I wish I had a chance to visit too. Why didn't you bring him with you next time you come to Vermont? I know you love it. I don't want to be a hassle. Oh, it's no hassle. When I was still teaching, I used to have my students out for the weekend all the time. She missed the company. Some think Aunt Dorothy. What, that man? No, couldn't be. Who is it? Two women, a man, a chase down the library steps. Our story begins like life. All stories are beginning, middle and end. The distances between beginning and end, between story and life, can sometimes be deceptive, especially when viewed for the shifting prisms of the twilight zone. Come on, who is that man? It may be someone I knew many years ago. Oh, it was the fall of 1933, the fresh out college, just 22. I was taking my first teaching assignment. A small application town, Powder Bridge, West Virginia. Here you are, Matt Girl, madam. Thank you. Shouldn't put all your shoes in one bag, not shoes, books. Woman, Miss Livingston. Yes, I'm Dorothy Livingston. You must be Miss Dockwiler, Robert. Berta, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Man, you best give that here some. Do as the gentleman says, William. I didn't realise you were leaving so soon. I have so many questions. My sister's baby isn't willing to wait. Don't worry. There's no, there's nothing you need to know that isn't in the notes I left you on my desk. Ready to bold. Don't worry. These three months are going to fly by. By the time I get back, you wish I'd stayed away long forever. Something else not covered in my notes. Something important. There's a boy, a primary grader. His name is Misha, Misha Forrest. He wants to use the library very often. I never, must never deny him access to the library, never. Understand? Yes, mother. You're very clean. The bed is firm. I've checked first thing. Listen, I'm going to have to go soon. It's very expensive, I know. I miss your super talks too. I'll call you first meeting next Sunday and let you know everything went. Okay, I will. I love you too, very much. Very much. Good night, Mother. Bye. Children, yeah, all right, everyone. Everyone simmer down now. Simmer down. All right, come on. Take your seats. All right, Is it okay. General Elledge, present. Okay. Nephew Elledge, Nathaniel Elledge, present. Okay. Uh, Misha Frost. Present, okay. Um, Jennifer Hayes, Dorothy. While Spanning colonies were growing wealthy, independent Britain maintained that those colonies existed, so only for its own profit, were to be tightly ruled by the King and Parliament back in England. Up until 1763, they were told the colonies was fairly lax. But after France was defeated, the French and Indian Wars, Britain decided to restore control, tax colonies to help pay for the war. Addition to numerous two taxes posed on the continents, Stanley Army was to be sent to America to be quartered at Colonial Spence. The settlement beyond our own amphibian mountains was forbidden. Major Frost, Major Frost, yes, madam. Can you tell me the natural border the British chose beyond which Colonial settlement was forbidden? No, madam, ma'am, I can't. Just mentioned a moment ago, at a peachance. But just you put your bubble well, work aside, later and listen to lesson at hand. In 1765, size Misha, Misha. Time to go home. Hi, Miss Livingston. Hi, no order, no order. So in order to add the two factions, we must first determine the common denominator. Who would like to try for us, Marcy? Marcia, Misha, Misha. Well, may I see you down here, Misha? I have been going over the school records as far as I can tell Miss Dorkwiler hasn't had a conference with her parents in quite some time. Wondering if you could shed some light on that. My dad's died in an accident in our truck more than a year ago. I'm sorry, who's taking care of you? Just me and my grandfather now. I see. Will you ask your grandfather 
your grandfather you could stop by some afternoon soon? I'd like to talk to him. No. He he couldn't. He'd not got too much to do with seeing. Please tell him. No, 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 stop by and see him soon. You can't do that. Meet you. Just write a note. That's what Mrs. Dockwell Doc does. I promise I'll really read it. You don't do that. That won't do in this case. I can't, you can't see him. You can't? The princess heard the lion in the brambles, but she couldn't see it. But she knew it was hungry. She knew it was coming closer to her. As the sun disappeared behind the mountains, for it grew every very dark, the princess heard the lion in the brambles, but she couldn't see it. But she knew it was hungry. She knew it was coming closer to her. Good night, Grandad. Good night. Crushing sand, how much did you hear? For the very dark... Just the very last week, sir. I apologise. When I stepped up here, I have not my, my, my intention to eavesdrop. Misha, why don't you tell me what's going on? A man in there. man I call my grandfather. Yes. Well, he's not my grandfather. He's my great-great-grandfather. Born in 1783. 93. He's 141 years old, Misha. I never heard of anyone. Well, outside of the Bible, living past 110. How? Keep him, I keep him alive. Like my daddy did. And my daddy's daddy. His daddy before him. Keep him alive by telling him stories. Stories, size. Not whole stories. But, but stories left in the middle. They're left so they can stay, well, got to stay alive. Got to live till the next day to find out what happens. These stories do not keep that someone alive. But they do. Every night I finish the story for the night before. They start a new one, always leaving off at some middle point spot. Some spot where he's aching to know what's going to happen next. I told, used to sit with my daddy. We told stories. He told, he listened to. I learned because in ten years or so, going to be my turn. Then he, Mama, died. No Simpson Bridge came to be up to me a very day. I've been ever since you make up a story all by yourself every day. Got to. Misha, Misha. Even if your stories like, kept him alive, everyone has a time here on earth. It won't be wrong to keep such an old man alive in such a way. I remember lying in bed lots of nights, hearing my mama argue about the same thing with my daddy. But my daddy always said that as long as grandpa was clear headed and comfortable, but it's unthinkable for us, but his family, not to do any, anything would we could to keep him with us. That's, now that's my responsibility, like it was my daddy's. I'm the man of the house now. Oh, Miss Livingstone, been an accident. Come quick, let me through. Boy, he fell out of the tree, heard him hit the loud crack. All right now, Misha, I want you, I don't, I want you to, want you to stay as still as you can. All right. Oh, my arm. Just stay still and we'll get help. Russell, down in the town, get the doctor. Tell him, tell him, tell him I sent you. That is a mercy. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. You should stay quiet. Ow, let me go, please let me go. Oh, I've got to go home. Looks like a compound break. Let, may I sit easy and it may not. I'm going to Jesse stay the night with my wife. As me, so I can keep my eye on him. Well, you've let these folks know. Yes, of course, Doctor. Misha, Miss Livingston, please, thank you, Doctor. Misha, it'll be all right. It will be all right. It's going to be all right, Knox. Hello? Mr. Frost? Yes, I'm Dorothy Livingston. I'm Misha's teacher. Oh, yes, you mentioned you several times the last few days. I've been, I just come because you've been, been an accident at school, Misha. He's all right. His broken arm in the fall from a tree. Apparently, it's nothing serious. He's with the Doctor. Boy, he's all right, climber. He's a real frost. I never met a male frost yet who hasn't. Most comfortable perched up higher than anyone else. The doctor say what time the boy is likely to go to your home. He won't be coming home tonight, Mr. Frost. He's going to be staying with the doctor and wife. The doctor and his wife until the morning. Which is no brave in August. Still alive. Don't need the stories. You don't need didn't need the stories. There's the story, Dorothy. Misha. You dropped this yesterday when you fell. I finished the story that you began last night. I began another one. It's all in there. I don't think that you believed. I'm still not convinced that it's stories 
keep your great 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 grandfather alive. I thought just in case I finished a three month teaching assignment in power to reach. Gave all the books I had brought with me for me as a gift. Got on a bus, I've never been back. It been many a number of times over the years, past fifty years when I wondered just what became of the, the old little boy and the old man. And you think that the old man uh, following his Misha, but if you know if he's old, if that old man here's one forty one ninety three forty ninety three three, you will have to be close to two hundred now. Keep it. Thanks, Dorothy. As the woman watched, the door eased open very slowly. Is an old man there? He's two hundred two hundred years old. I can't say, Mother. Not until tomorrow. Feeling for the toilet loan. So, mellow, easy rock and roll. Good K G R. This is Alice Ace Campbell coming up on twelve o'clock midnight, playing the best of yesterday's exclusively for all of Southern California. For all you weather fanatics out there, carry but it. But again, who cares? Join the Blonde Patrol. You're now speaking to Blonde Patrol. Up to deck is our own Midnight Queen, Andrea Fields, forever. It's going, she's going to take you into tomorrow. Okay, now you know, speaking of tomorrow, I love these secret crowds. We're going to continue the story of a gentleman. I think it's some, it's some little town in Virginia who has locked himself in a telephone booth with 30 42 carrier pigeons, buying all the money he has lost in the last 40 years, 40 years to pay, pay phones, return to him with clues, doing interest. I love this guy. All right, I'm going home to have some milk and cookies. And if Fields is up next, remember this is Ace Campbell saying, Ace knows the place. Keep the dial to 93.3. K-G-A-R-R-C-A-A-O-J-O. It's the Midnight Queen. How are you doing? Hi, Ace. You're working Saturday night? Oh, no. Uh, what did you say? You want to go out? Yeah, out. Just like a date. I put a, sh- a suit, a little tie. Put a dress. Go to dinner, maybe a club. Anyone who knows? I don't think so, Ace. Thanks anyway. And, Andrew, can I ask you a question? Sure. We have something together. At least I thought so. You said you needed some time, so I backed off. Waiting and waiting. Did I miss the punchline? Or did you give me the brush off? Didn't see it. You're seeing someone else? Oh, no, uh-huh. Then what is going on with you? Have you forgotten how to smile? I know it's none of my business. But you're neither particularly ha- happy or you're doing a fabulous invitation. I have to misery him. Ace, I don't know what to tell you. I really not like going out with you. We have some great time, but I guess I'm not ready. Anything more? A few laughs. It's not that I don't like you. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's no big deal. We're not lovers anymore. We're just friends, I'll tell you. Two important things. One, you need someone in your life besides yourself. And two, you've got about 90 seconds before we start. We'll go see dead air, please. C-A-O-O-C-O-T-O-T-O. Ace, where did you, this come from? I found it had been about Tower Records. I thought you'd get a kick out of it. It's your old boyfriend, right? Yeah. Figured ever since you probably had more, a few laughs with him. You didn't have an out the album, no. Said I never listened to it. There's a big difference. You okay? Yeah. See you tomorrow night. K G I R. Get out all your miners, people. It's Andy Fields, and we're spending the next four hours paying for gold. First up, Gold Rush is a little treasure night song by Simon Lucky. Easy rock intro. Tell me, where does it, it say? When you're lost, you stay that way, while a chorus of fools getting in the way cannot hear, cannot play with their night song. Basically, into the old bright, old lone reflect. Oh, my demons in the night, some are wise, some are good, some are not so bright. None can hear, sing along with the night song. Simon, don't be angry, Andrew. Andy, I need to talk to you. For five years, don't you think it's a little late? Yes, it's been, but don't stop thinking about you, needing you. I've never been any, needed anyone when you walked out or my life stopped. When just, you now just walls in here, like nothing ever happened. Get out, get the hell out, sobs. Don't want to see you. 
I lost five years of my life, so please just go away. What are you doing here? Helping? Do I ask you to? You don't like you don't you don't like yourself anymore. Do you just leave me alone? Probably the battery. I'll get the car at this hour. Then I walk. I walk with you, Andrew. Andrew, I'm trying to speak, trying to explain. Why don't you try and tell me where you've been for five years around, around? What kind of answer like that? Well, come on, Simon. You can't dish out the crap anymore. I'm not buying it. Dropping out of sight every time you need work on a new song. Every time you need to be inspired. Way that groupie of Fresco despised you. Way you know about that. I knew about them all of them. I was just too young and, and loved to care. I had this stupid idea you needed me. I did. I did. I just got lost. I can't say any better than that. Breaks. They always headed my way. Always wanted, went to someone else. Just slipped by me. Just slipped by me, Andrea. But you have a con- well contract, night song, was the first of two. What happened? I guess I wasn't ready for it. Oh, Simon, you always weren't too big behind. I just kept, get back. You're nagging me already. Remember when you were going to freight your van with studio time? We'd have gone for it. Gone for it, maybe, if you hadn't crashed into a tree first. Remember when we were stranded in Tolson? We were singing a little bear, yeah. It wasn't that bad. We were together. We did have fun, didn't we? Didn't we? You haven't changed. Yes, I have. I hope not. Not all together. Simon, I knew he wanted to change the world with his songs. My still goal. The yes, Simon I knew, knew he wanted to be that comic book hero. Golden Connor. They grew up. When darkness falls and evil calls. Oh, come on. A terror rules the streets. Call the Golden Condor. Together, good crime shall now. Shall no defeat. No, I won't make the same mistake twice, Andy. Don't go, Andy, don't go. But Andy, please, my song intro. Tell me, where does he could say, where are you lost? To stay that way, a ball of co- chorus of fools getting in the way. I cannot hear, cannot play. This is a very funny. So I beat Darling last night. Time that I left home, I couldn't believe how bad I missed you. Even though I don't know how long it was, I have to be away. Maybe it's not here. Maybe he had that album the ho- whole time. Maybe I put it on. Play tricks with yourself, Andrew. Go to sleep, Simon. Not here. I'm here, Andy. No, Simon, please. I didn't come back to hurt you this time. You must believe that. Those songs are about us, weren't they? Yes, those songs about us, about you. Could never listen to them. I understand that. Why did you put it on? Why tonight? Maybe it's time, Andy. Time to feel something. I'm still afraid. Oh, Andy. Guess we're kind of lucky. We know a lot a bit about love. Oh, yeah. Trying. I've got to get some sleep. Somebody's coming at dawn to take me somewhere. I don't know where. They told me. They would tell me where that was when I got there. I tell you, I'm lucky. We know a bit about love, huh? Oh, no. All right. Maybe it's all. Maybe it'll be different this time. No, it can't be. can't, Andy. You don't understand. This time, there's no coming back, going back. It's what you came here to tell me. I mean, yes, there's more to it than that. So you've got yourself a wasted trip. Why couldn't you leave me with that, what I remembered? You can see if you can still wrap me around your finger. See if he still loved you. I needed you. Just take your music and your soft, perfect words. Get the hell out. Oh, Andy, I don't blame you for being angry, for being, feeling hurt and eliminated. But it has there uh, something you don't understand. I want to show you something. Will you come with me? Where are we? Never been here before. Not many people have. It's an easy place for men to get lost. I'm running like I ran from everything in my life. Maybe it's running from you. Maybe it's running from success. Don't know. Tired screech. Simon, slow down. And just before the album was released, they were too enthusiastic. Wanted me to go to, con- to concerts. Maybe television to promote me. I'm it, Andy. I don't know whether I was afraid of failure or success. Maybe I was afraid of that. If it ever took off, if it actually became a success, wouldn't have any excuses anymore. But if it was, I just took off. Jumped on the bike and started running. I ran further than I intended to. Simon, what is it? Something happened. I don't know what. So any brakes weren't working. Come me, you frightened me. Where are we going? Simon, wait. 
Sign all this time as one school album. As we won one, I don't remember. No one cared. You then you played it. Finally, you heard my songs, our songs. I was strong and I came back because you needed me. Bite that almost hit you at the station. That was me, Andrew. I was saving you for me. You, do you understand? You can forget some a lot. You deserve better than that. But I love you. I never stopped loving you, I know. I know, but you can stop now. That's really why I came back, to let you start living again. Forgive me, forgive me, Andy. Forgive me, please, Andrew. KGRR, request line. You can put a request, what is it? Can you play his night somewhere, Simon Lucky again? Be like to play that again. Thanks, thanks a lot. This is KGRR. This is Night Song from Andy. Andrew Simon for Love. Night Song Intro. Tell me where.